On July 31, 2015, IOC President Thomas Bach announced that Beijing would host the 2022 Winter Olympics. In one of the first major events after the celebrations, the Chinese capital held a preparation seminar on November 3rd and 4th. During that gathering, representatives from the Olympic and Paralympic movements outlined the steps that organizers would need to take over the next six plus years. They also hammered home the importance of the opportunity to stage the games, as well as the principles of coordination. On December 15th, the Beijing Organizing Committee for the 2022 Winter Olympic and Paralympic Games held its inaugural ceremony, an event staged to show that the IOC's preparations had been fully carried out. On March 18, 2016, Chinese President Xi Jinping oversaw a meeting reviewing plans for the snow and ice spectacle. He also delivered an address aimed at inspiring the attendees, and since that session, the key points he mentioned have apparently been fully incorporated into the process of promoting the events to take place in six years' time. On June 6, an international contest to design the National Speed Skating Gymnasium got underway. During the games, this complex will serve as the home base for that sport's training and competition phases. After the closing ceremony, the venue will be converted into a multifunctional arena that hosts not just skating races, but also ice hockey and curling events. And on June 12th, Bach made a trip to China's capital to help dedicate the symbolic tower in Beijing's Olympic Park. This structure consists of five components ranging in height from 186 to just under 247 meters, with five 18-meter high rings mounted atop the tallest point of the facility. Damian Jones, CCTV.